Hi, I'm Doug Cameron, and this is the EcoSafe Design Build blog dedicated to healthy, high performance construction and contemporary modern design. Today, we are here in central Austin in a remodel of an over 100, 100 year old home that we have just full filled the walls with spray foam insulation. Um, this spray foam we're very fond of. This is typically what we use in our projects anytime we have the opportunity to open up all the walls because it does such a tremendous job of keeping the heat out and the cool air in and vice versa in the winter time but here in Texas we know the the main issue is keeping that heat out so um, it has a resistance value also known as an R value of an R13 and what that resistance value means is that it is resisting thermal bridging from occurring um, and that that means that the heat is outside and then the cool air is inside and the transfer is limited at a resistance value of 13 and uh, we, we like that. Um, 13 actually is not a super high number um, considering that the pink fiberglass bat insulation is also an R13 but that metric um, there's no factoring in of the aspect of air sealing that is associated with this insulation so the benefits here and the attributes that lead to limiting the thermal bridging are actually way higher than a typical fiberglass insulation and uh, you know in my opinion they are tremendous um, so walking over here, I'll tell you a little bit about why we choose to use this particular type of insulation. We want to minimize operating costs on the homes that we build for the future. So we want to keep your electric bills down. We want to keep the usage of your HVAC equipment down and ultimately save you money because everybody would like to save a buck every time, anytime they get a chance. And that's what we're doing here. So as you walk over here, Check out our HVAC equipment. It's all up in this, this very limited attic space that we have. All of our ducts, as you can see, are beneath this foam insulation. So we've captured everything within what's called our building envelope. And uh, the reason we want to do that is because we don't want our HVAC equipment to get super hot. We don't want these ducts to uh, condensate because of having a lot of heat up in that attic space. Um, and they're blowing through all that cold air, so you can have what's called dew point occur, and you could have moisture occur in that attic space, and that's just bad news, so we don't want that. Um, so, being that we've done this now, we've got the ability to use a much smaller tonnage with our HVAC equipment, and what that's gonna do that's very cool is it's gonna cycle on way more often than it would if we had a very large ton system. And here in Texas, back in the day, everybody wanted to put these bigger, better, uh, in their minds bigger, better um, HVAC systems in that could get the house to cool down very, very quickly, but then they wouldn't cycle on very often because they did such a tremendous job of getting it cool quickly. And those expense, those, uh, those units um, were also more expensive because they were, they were larger. So now what we're able to do is we're able to use a, a much smaller unit that costs less and cycles on much more often. Um, which actually makes for a much more comfortable space being that as your HVAC cycles on and off it removes condensation from your space um, ultimately leading to a lack of humidity inside the space. A, a really nice good relative humidity amount is uh, 50% and so that's what we'd like our clients to have. Anything over than that, over that you're just going to start feeling uncomfortable and uh, nobody really enjoys that. So we want, it, we want our homes to be very comfortable as well as very energy efficient. Um, something I'm gonna to touch on very quickly is the, the concept that you can seal a house too tight and I wanna tell you what we do to eliminate that from occurring. What we've done is we've run a fresh air duct from our HVAC system all the way over here. It exits outside and it's on a damper and so the air is sucked in uh, we'll say give or take 15 minutes per hour it's sucked in over here it is filtered first before it actually enters our space removing any sort of allergens or anything like that um, with that filter we got a five and a half inch april air media filter up there that does a, a really kick butt job of filtering and so that's bringing in our fresh air on demand as much as we want as needed and now we're no longer getting our fresh air from little leaks and crevices that were in the wall spaces that are not being filtered prior to so that's a, a real big boom for for using this spray foam and bringing in your fresh air and basically you get to choose 
where you're getting your ventilation from and you're doing it in a proper manner. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're now in a cooler here. We got the foam up top, we got the foam in the walls, and then I don't know if I mentioned the closed cell underneath that gives us an R7. And so, you know, we're in this giant cooler and we're just chilling. Adios amigos.